Oh, you just missed that massive yawn. You might have just been quick enough to catch the bottom end of that almost 180 degree mouth that these hippos can open with those terrifying incisors and canines that they have. And that basically is not to be used for eating grass. They only fight and defend, well, basically their breeding rights and fight one another with those tusks. They've got an entire skull and musculature that is developed around being able to hook those massively curved bottom incisors up into an enemy. And it's not uncommon to see hippo with massive cut marks on their sides and their flanks and their backs. Might just catch a view of a black bird flying off in the background. You'll see that there's a couple, three or four on the left and one on the right hand side. I don't have any more zoom, unfortunately. This is the end of this particular lens, but that is an open build stalk for those of you who, um, who are keeping their bird lists up to date. And these two bull hippo, it looks like, are having a bit of a tussle about who owns this particular patch of the river. You can see that there are three pods of hippo. In the foreground, we've got these two big guys having a face-off. In the middle of the screen, just above middle, we've got another group of hippo. And then all the way at the back, we've got another one. Look there, look, look, look. Oh, wasn't that? Sorry, Rebecca, you're just going to have to repeat Machine's question there. I just missed that while I was busy looking at that. Ah, Machine, you wanted to know how deep hippos are willing and able to go underwater, but just have a look at this, what they're doing. That is now a display of note. This is two bull hippo. What they're doing is hippo don't have any glands on their body with which to secrete messages to one another and so they do it through dung and that is what they're doing now is they show you where a hippo have done that against the bush and it's this clearly like to be a hippo and sprayed with dung every time you get excited but they're posturing at one another now machine you wanted to know how deep hippos can go um I suppose as deep as, as phew, I wouldn't have a clue actually to be honest, to, to, I, I don't know. Um, it's not uncommon to find hippos in the sea, it's not uncommon to find hippos in water that is very deep. Hippos cannot float and so they must be able to, be able, they must be able to, to go pretty deep. I don't know how deep they can actually go. I mean they breathe oxygen the same as us and oxygen becomes poisonous at, you know, I think it's 27 or 28 meters. I'm not that sure, but I'm, they won't be able to go deeper than that. Something else to show you. Oh my, I wonder what's up.